In the classroom of the elite, Anakoji Kiyotaka stands out for his unparalleled ability to read people and situations, manipulating outcomes with a cold, calculated efficiency. Today, after analyzing these abilities, I'll show you guys how to spot and understand fake people. To begin, observational mastery, nonverbal cues. Anakoji's first step is always to observe. Pay close attention to inconsistencies between a person's words and their body language. Genuine emotions are synchronized with expressions. Discrepancies often signal deceit. I have a 30 minute lecture about body language so I'll put a card for that video to show up right now. But I'll also leave a link below for one of the best books about this. So you guys can actually learn this skill. But also don't just read theory. Go observe in real life. But of course don't be like a weirdo staring at a guy. Pattern recognition. Notice patterns in behavior. Anakoji analyzes past actions to predict future ones. Track how individuals present themselves in different social settings and whether their stories align over time. For example, something which is really common among guys is when they meet girls, they usually start making fun of the other guy to come out on top. If your friend did that to you once, he'll do it again and even in different scenarios which do not involve females. So recognize those patterns and do not fall for them. Micro expressions. Master the art of reading fleeting facial expressions. Anakoji catches lies not just through words, but by the slightest twitch or flash of emotion that contradicts spoken words. This is also a reminder not to just focus on the body, but micro expressions that can be very telling. For example, if someone's lips are twitching while they're speaking, it doesn't take a genius to realize something is up. And also like you see like in those mangas and animes like that evil villain just like wildly like smiling like you know something is up so like don't just like focus on their like feet like body language shit like you can just look at their face and see what type of person they are social footprints investigates people's digital and social breadcrumbs anakoji would exploit social media forms and mutual contacts to construct psychological profiles using information as leverage this one is a little weird but think about it what a person follows on social media reflects their worldview. If you see a lot of degenerate pages, you can conclude he's not the best person and vice versa. Number two is conversation traps. And by the way, don't just go up to every person and do these like tactics. I'm talking about just like specifically fake people. So let's begin. Calibrated questions. Like on a Koji, use questions to gently prop underneath the surface. Craft your questions based on the person's interests and fear, subtly guiding the conversation to reveal their true intentions without them realizing. I'm not saying everyone is your enemy by the way. This video is specifically made to just to find fake people. Just I'm gonna say that again. Next is double bind questions. Post questions that offer no right answer but reveal underlying truths. Anakoji's conversations in the anime are usually like chess games, cornering his opponents unwittingly. So for example, a question could be like, are you not taking on more responsibilities because you're already overwhelmed or are you avoiding extra work to keep your workload light? That's a question they usually use in school like when they're like doing these double bind questions. So let's move on to number three, utilitarian social strategy. Controlled exposure. Share information about yourself in a controlled manner to gauge reactions and attentions. Anakoji uses this technique to build trust or to test loyalty. For example, something that is pretty common to catch fake people is only tell them a fake secret you wouldn't mind being shared. Then when you hear it going around, I don't need to say the rest but like, you just catch them. Exploit weaknesses. Identify and exploit emotional or psychological weaknesses. Anakoji leverages personal dilemmas or insecurities as control mechanisms, always staying 10 steps ahead. For example, we see this in the anime. He knew about Kei's trauma and her like parasitic personality and used it to his advantage. Again, this is like a little unethical but I am just making a guide on what Anakoji does so do what you want with this info. Don't shoot the messenger, does shoot the message or some shit. Manipulate perceptions. Control how you perceive through calculated actions and misinformation. Anakoji crafts his image to fit his needs, becoming a chameleon among peers. For example, in the anime, he always spreads information of incompetency around himself so he doesn't get bothered, although he's cursed with extreme competency so everyone eventually finds out. Number 4. Analytical Detachment Emotional control. Maintain a level of emotional detachment to analyze situations objectively, a hallmark of Anakoji's strategy. So I'm making a whole video on this, so don't worry guys. 
Efficiency in relationships. Evaluate relationships based on mutual respect and benefit, not just from what you can gain from them. While Anikoji may use people as chess pieces, strive for actual authentic connections because like you're not in the fucking classroom with the lead bro. Like what are you cold calculus? Detach from ethical dilemmas when analyzing and manipulating situations. Anakoji's decisions are made from a standpoint of utility and efficiency, where emotions are variables not guiding principles. So, like I said, Anikoji is morally ambiguous, so he doesn't really care about whether something is good or right, he just wants to win. So I'm saying to have that same mindset, because this is the Anakoji guide. But I'm not saying like, I'm not saying that's my personal opinion, so do what you want with the information. Strategic Alliances Form relationships based on strategic value rather than genuine connections. While Anikoji may seem to form bonds, each step is calculated towards a bigger goal. Not saying you have to do this again, but this is the Anikoji guide, I'm not going to say my own opinion. So thanks for watching Peace on the Street. This should help you catch any fake person, I don't think any other information is like, is missing from this. And also, I actually have like a real life classroom the league going on and real life white room. It's like integrated together. It's called my one year white room program. If you want to join a class A to D, do special exams, have like a whole 400 slideshow on white room training. Just click the link in the description below. There's a test and we'll see if you qualify. Thanks for watching and peace on the street.